Hello everyone. Welcome to Nesso Academy. I'm your instructor Jaspreet Singh and I'm here with this brand new course on C++ programming language. This course is designed for beginners who want to learn C++ from basics to more advanced topics including object oriented programming. This is the first lecture of C++ programming course and the name of this lecture is Introduction to C++. So without any further delay let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics The first topic of this lecture is why learn C++ First we will understand why we must learn C++ programming language then we will move to the next topic where we will see the syllabus of this course and then in the third topic we will understand the target audience and prerequisites of this course and in the last topic i will give you the course highlights so that you will get the complete idea of what you can expect from this course so these are all the topics which we will cover in this lecture let's get started with the first topic which is why learn c++ so why we should learn c++ there are many reasons to learn c++ some of the reasons i am going to quote now the very first reason is real world app development with c++ it is possible to develop real world applications if you don't know this already then microsoft office adobe photoshop and unreal engine are some of the applications which were developed using c++ so if you want to build your own applications then you can learn c++ and c++ is the best choice for you now here comes the second reason it deepens computer understanding c++ deepens your understanding about computer even better it is possible that right now you have surface level understanding about your computer if you want to know what goes behind the scenes when you run an application or a program then learning c++ is the best bet for you so i would recommend you to learn c++ to help deepen your knowledge about computers Now here comes the third reason it sets foundation for other languages C++ sets the base to learn other programming languages like C# Sharp, Python and Java There are many other languages which you can learn after learning C++ because C++ is comparatively difficult to learn As programmers we must learn multiple programming languages one language is never enough So I would recommend you to start with C++ then move forward learning other programming languages now here comes the fourth reason it provides career opportunities c++ provides immense career opportunities it is possible that after learning c++ you may get your dream job in big tech companies like google microsoft or even adobe because c++ is still relevant in the industry now here comes the fifth reason it provides abstraction and control c++ provides best of both the worlds that is abstraction and control by abstraction i mean hiding implementation details from programmers c++ is very good in hiding most of the implementation details from us so that it will be easier for us to write code in c++ not only this it provides control over system resources so that we can manipulate them for our own advantage so definitely learning c++ is really great thing now here comes the last reason that is reason number 6 great for competitive programming c++ is great for competitive programming and even you might have heard this from your friends as well that learning c++ will help you become a competitive programmer i can't agree with this more If you learn C++ then there is the high chance that you will become a great competitive programmer and it will be great for your resume as well. So these are some of the reasons why you should learn C++ programming language and now I hope you are enough motivated to take this course forward. So now we are done with the first topic why learn C++ let's move to the next topic where we will now discuss the syllabus of this course. I have divided this course into multiple chapters. I will let you know what are those chapters and I will also let you know what topics we will cover under those chapters. Chapter 1 is about introduction to C++. 
including this lecture we will cover more topics under this chapter we will understand the definition of c++ we will get to know about history and versions of c++ we will also understand how to set up our own development environment so that we will get started with c++ as early as possible and then i will let you know how to write your first c++ program in this chapter Chapter 2 is about C++ basics where we will cover the basics of C++ including variables, data types, modifiers and many other topics. Chapter 3 is about operators in C++. We will cover different types of operators including arithmetic operators, logical operators, increment decrement operators and we will also understand relational operators in this chapter. These are the basic operators which are also covered in other programming languages. We do have C++ specific operators including type cast operator, scope resolution operator. Apart from this, we will also understand expressions in details and we will get into the concept of operator precedence and associativity in this chapter. Chapter 4 is about control structures and functions. Control structures can be broadly classified into two categories. One is conditionals and the other one is loops. Under conditionals, we will cover if-else, nested if-else, switch. Under loops, we will cover for, while, do while. After completion of these topics, we will then move to functions where we will understand the basics of functions and then we will move to more advanced topics like call by value and call by reference, function overloading, and recursive functions. Chapter 5 is about object oriented programming, that is, OOP. This is the point where we will get started with object oriented programming in C. We will understand various OOP principles, including abstraction, encapsulation, polymorphism, and inheritance. Under this chapter, we will also understand classes and objects, and we will get into the depths of member functions. Chapter 6 is about constructors and destructors. In this chapter, we will understand different types of constructors, including copy constructor, parameterized constructor, default constructor. We will also understand the concept of destructors and we will compare it with constructors so that you will get to know what is the difference between the two. Chapter 7 is about inheritance. In this chapter, we will understand different types of inheritance including single inheritance, multiple inheritance, multi-level inheritance, hierarchical inheritance. Chapter 8 is about polymorphism and virtual functions. Polymorphism is one of the pillars of object-oriented programming, so we will understand it properly and then we will move to virtual functions. We will precisely learn what is pure virtual function. Then after this, chapter 9 is about operator overloading and templates. After understanding operators, we are eligible to understand operator overloading in details. After understanding operator overloading, we will understand the concept of templates, precisely class templates and function templates. Chapter 10 is about exception handling. In this chapter, we will learn how to handle exceptions or how to handle errors beautifully with the help of try, catch and throw blocks. Chapter 11 is about file handling. In this chapter, we will learn how to handle files and how to perform operations on files with the help of different operators we have for files. And then we will also understand if stream, f stream and off stream, which are different types of streams available to us. Then we will move to the final chapter, which is chapter 12, Standard Template Library short form STL. Under this chapter, we will get the overview of STL. Then we will also understand different types of containers. We will get to know about iterators, function objects and lambda functions in this chapter. So these are all the chapters of this course and I hope this syllabus is completely clear to you. Now we are ready to move to the next topic as we are done with the syllabus. The next topic is target audience and prerequisites. Let's understand who is the target audience of this course and what are the prerequisites of this course. Let's get into the target audience first. The first type of audience is 
college students if you are a college going student then definitely you can take this course because this course might be part of your curriculum the second type of audience is competitive programmers as mentioned earlier if you want to become a competitive programmer then learning c++ is the best choice for you you can learn c++ from our course because this course is designed in such a way that even competitive programmers can learn from this course the third type of audience is people preparing for interviews if you are someone who is preparing for interviews then definitely you can take this course because there will be a lot of topics covered in this course which interviewers may ask you and the fourth type of audience is self learners and enthusiasts if you are a self learner or enthusiast and you want to learn c++ for fun sake then you can take this course because there will be a lot of topics for you to learn so this is the target audience of this course now let's get into the prerequisites of this course the first prerequisite is basic understanding of programming logic if you have basic understanding of programming logic that is if you know concepts of variables data types conditionals loops functions arrays then you can easily take this course without any problem but if you don't know these topics already then also there is no problem because i will cover these topics as we encounter them the second prerequisite is familiarity with c programming C++ is the successor of C so if you know C programming already then it will be easier for you to take this course but if you don't know C programming then also there is no problem if there are topics that we need to cover about C programming we will cover them as well so this is the target audience and these are the prerequisites of this course i hope these are clear to you now we are done with this topic also Let's move to the last topic which is course highlights. So what are the highlights of this course? The first course highlight is micro lectures. We at Nesso Academy believe in micro lectures because we think that micro lectures are easy to digest and comprehend. Throughout the course I tried my best to provide you the lectures of less than 15 minutes length so that you would be able to take them and comprehend them. So this is the focus of this course. The second course highlight is complex topics made easy. Throughout the course I tried my best to make complex topics easier for you with the help of examples and analogies. This is something you can expect from the very beginning of this course. The third course highlight is job ready course. Yes, this course is job ready. This means after completing this course there is the high possibility that you can sit on interviews and you may be able to crack them to land your dream job the fourth course highlight is best practices and pitfalls throughout the course i tried my best to cover best practices so that you will get to know what are the industry standard practices which are followed by programmers all around the world and i have also tried to cover the common pitfalls which we also call common errors that beginners make while writing their programs so that you can avoid making those mistakes and then the last course highlight is quizzes ppts and notes in this course i have provided quizzes ppts and notes for you if you want these materials you can get them from our website and from our app you can visit our website www.nesoacademy.org or you can download our mobile app from play store to access these materials by accessing these materials it will be easier for you to follow along in this course and take the most advantage of this course so these are the course highlights and i hope it is clear to you we are done with this last topic as well and this means we are done with this lecture okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this lecture i will see you in the next one